Selena Gomez addresses weight gain. I'm not a model. Selena Gomez says she's not a model and never will be, telling critics to go away if they don't like it. The entertainer, 30, addressed recent scrutiny about her appearance during a TikTok live, revealing her lupus medication has led to drastic weight fluctuations. When I'm taking it, I tend to hold a lot of water weight, and that happens very normally. When I'm off of it, I tend to kind of lose weight, Gomez said in a video shared on Twitter. She continued, I just wanted to say and encourage anyone out there who feels any sort of shame for exactly what they're going through and no one knows the real story. Despite the toll it has taken on her mental health, Gomez tries to stay focused on the bigger picture, her health. I just want people to know that you're beautiful, and you're wonderful, she said. Yeah, we have days where maybe we feel like ST, but I would much rather be healthy and take care of myself. My medications are important, and I believe that they're what helps me. The only murders in the building noted that she is not a model, and never will be. Nevertheless, she concluded the video with a special message to her fans and haters. I love you guys and thanks for supporting me and understanding, she said. And if not, go away, because honestly, I don't believe in shaming people for their body or anything. Gomez was diagnosed with lupus, a chronic autoimmune disease that often leads to swelling, fatigue, and joint pain, back in 2014 and got candid about the painful disease in her Apple TV Plus documentary, My Mind and Me. In the emotional documentary, the songstress revealed her sickness was getting worse and that she hadn't felt such excruciating pain in years. Now it just hurts, like, in the morning when I wake up, I immediately start crying because it hurts, everything, the actress said through tears. To deal with the pain, Gomez had to go on an intravenous drug called Rituxan, which she had already tried in the past. The Rituxan was really hard to do last time, Gomez explained. It's about four hours, five hours. It's really hard on your system at first, but it's okay. Prior to getting on her new medications, Gomez tried treating her symptoms using chemotherapy.